Hello everybody. So um, this is video is just to show you, uh, to give you a little bit more guidance as to how to solve uh, Sokatoa problems. Um, and so we're gonna uh, do a little bit of uh, uh, work, okay? Uh, just to refresh our memory, Sokatoa, so ka toa uh, So um, stands for sine of the angle, okay? So um, let me put it over here in the margin. Theta is the angle, okay? So it's opposite divided by the hypotenuse, okay? Um, cosine is cosine of theta is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. And then tangent uh, of the angle is the opposite over the adjacent side, okay? Well, what does this all mean? Okay, well, um, okay. Uh, what does that all mean? We, if, if we have a triangle, if we have a triangle, a right triangle, right? And um, so the side opposite to the 90 degree angle is always gonna be the hypotenuse, okay? Always, no matter what. Um, now say that we have our angle right here. That's our angle. That's the angle that they are, uh, say for example that it's, uh, I don't know, uh, 22, 22 degrees, okay? So this angle is angle A, okay, okay, and so now uh, they are telling us that um, that the adjacent side is nine, okay. They're telling us that the adjacent side is nine, okay, and we are trying to find the hypotenuse. Okay, uh, this is our, our X. That's what we're trying to find, okay? Now, uh, here's the thing. With the information given, with information given, what do we use? With information given, what do we use? Because, okay, well, we have the angle, so we have the angle, which would equal theta. We have, um, we have that our hypotenuse is x. And we have that the adjacent side to the angle add adjacent side to the angle is nine. Now, which, with this information given, we have, um, we are looking for the hypotenuse and we are looking for the, and, and we have the adjacent side. So which of these three, which of these three will allow us to, to plug in our information so that we can solve for X? Okay, so now we have adjacent. So, okay, well, this one has adjacent. This one has adjacent, but does it have the hypotenuse? Uh, well, no, it doesn't have the hypotenuse. So, well, it's not that one. We don't, we don't, we don't, we are not gonna use tangent. 
because it doesn't have the, the, the hypotenuse. It does have the adjacent, but it does not have the hypotenuse. Well, um, sine, it has the hypotenuse. It has a hypotenuse, but does it have the adjacent? No, it has opposite. So no, I'm not gonna use sine. Now, cosine has the adjacent and the hypotenuse. Hypotenuse, adjacent. So I'm gonna use cosine, okay? So with the information they, uh, that, that we are given, with the, info, with the information that they are giving us, okay? I'm gonna use cosine. So cosine of the angle, which is 22, okay? 22, cosine of 22, okay? That is gonna equal um, the opposite side, oh no, I'm sorry, uh, adjacent, the adjacent, which is nine, correct, which is nine, adjacent is nine. So I'm gonna put that right here over the hypotenuse, which is the hypotenuse is X, right? It's X, it's X. So X, okay. Well, now, <clears throat> now I'm trying to get X by itself. Now, solve for x, get x on its own. Okay, so we have to do some little algebra. We have to do a little bit of algebra, everybody. Now, here's the thing. When we have a division in algebra, when we have, to, when we have a division, Uh, we need to do, we need to multiply. And when we multiply, we need to divide, okay? That's just, that's just rules of, of algebra, okay? Um, and so how do I get X by itself? Well, okay. Um, well, I need to I need to be a little bit clever here, and so I'm going to put x on the other side. I'm going to uh, I multiply x on both sides. Why do I need to multiply x on both sides? Uh, because of this equal sign. Okay. Now, what I do on one side, I need to do to the other, because these both these two sides are equal. And if I don't do uh, one side, uh, if, I, if I don't do what I do to one side to the other, uh, they are not gonna be equal. So imagine that, um, imagine that everybody on the test misses uh, five points. So this is the whole class, right? This is the whole class. And this is you. Uh, now I'm going to subtract five points from you. Five points from you. Um, this is an equality, right? Everything is equal. Should I also subtract five points from the class? Well, yes, of course. Because everybody, everybody missed five points on the test. So if I missed five points, then the class should also miss five points if everybody got the same, the, the wrong answer, okay? So what we do on one side, we need to do on the other, okay? Now, let's see. Uh, my X is cancel, okay? My canceling pair, um, X, cancels so canceling pair okay and so now i'm gonna clean it up a little bit 
And so now it's gonna look like this, x equals x times cosine of 22 um, equals nine. Um, have I gotten x on its own? Have I gotten x on its own? Well, no, not yet. I haven't. So now um, I have a multiplication right here, okay? And I'm trying to get x by itself. So what do I need to do? If you multiply, you divide. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna divide cosine of 22 to both sides. And so I have a canceling pair, canceling pair, okay? And so now I'm gonna clean it up and now I'm going to have that x is equal to 9 divided by cosine of 22. Okay? Now, here's the thing. I have my uh, trusty cell phone right here. Uh, I'm going to use it as my, as my calculator. And so I have my calculator right here. But it's not scientific. It doesn't have any... Um, uh, any trigonometric functions, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tilt it, and there you go, everybody. There's my uh, cosine, my tangent, my sine, okay? So I have a nine divided by, so I have a nine divided by, and I'm gonna use uh, some parentheses here, cosine of 22. I'm going to close the parentheses twice. And that's just so that I can, um, and that is just so that I can, uh, so that so that my numbers are um, uh, multiplied and divided uh, PEMDAS, pretty much, so that they are all in order, okay? Uh, so 9 divided by cosine of 22, and that equals 9.71, because I'm going to round up. 9.71. One. And that is my answer. Okay? That is my answer. Whoops. Sorry about that. There you go. Okay, everybody. Now, say for example that I have uh, this other example. Okay? And the information given the information given, the information given, information given is that um, my angle is 27 degrees, okay? My adjacent side, adjacent in relation to the angle, so the uh, next, the, um, the, the side, the side next to uh, the angle is seven, adjacent is seven, okay? And uh, now the opposite in relation to the angle, the opposite side, the opposite side in relation to the angle, so here is my angle, so the opposite side is x. So the opposite side is x. Again, this is my angle, and the opposite side is x. Okay. Um, this is the info. This is the information that they're giving us. I am looking for the length of the opposite side. I am looking for the length of the opposite side, and um, my adjacent side. The length of my adjacent side is seven. Okay. Well. Um, what am I going to use? Am I going to use tangent? Am I going to use sine? Or am I going to use cosine? Well, let's look at this. Uh, I have the adjacent side, okay? Uh, I see that cosine has the adjacent side. But I should have the hypotenuse. I should have some information about the hypotenuse. Do I have any information about the hypotenuse here? No, I don't. So I'm not going to use cosine. Um, okay, well opposite 
I see that sine has opposite, but also just like cosine, the hypotenuse is not there. I don't have any information for hypotenuse. I don't have any information for hypotenuse. So cosine is out of the question. Sine is out of the question. Now tangent, I have opposite. I have the opposite side, opposite side. I have adjacent. I have adjacent. So it's tangent. So it's tangent, okay? So now let's plug in my numbers. Let's plug in the numbers into the equation. So I have that tangent, okay, of 27 is equal to my, the opposite side, which is x, opposite side is x, over the adjacent side, over the adjacent side, uh, adjacent, I see that it's seven, seven, seven. So like that. Now I have to uh, solve for x. Get x alone. Okay. Now, as just as in this in the last problem. If I have a division, I need to multiply. If I multiply, I need to divide, okay? So I, I'm, I'm dividing here. So now what I need to do, what I gotta do everybody, is multiply seven on both sides because I need to get x by itself. Um, whatever I do, whatever it is that I, that I do, I always need to get x by itself. So seven, and again, uh, what I do on one side, I need to do to the other, okay? Because this, because of this equal sign, okay? I need to be fair to both sides. I need to be fair to both sides. I need to if I if I if I multiply this side by seven, I need to do the same the same thing to this side, okay? Again, because it's an equality, all right? Because I need to be fair to both sides, okay? I need to be fair to both sides. So. Um, so now I have a canceling pair, canceling pair, okay? And so I'm gonna clean this up. I'm gonna clean it up a little bit. And uh, now I'm gonna have that it's uh, seven times, uh, I forgot the time sign over here, times tangent of 27 equals x, okay? Or I can I can uh, reverse it. I can uh, I can flip it, okay? Which is now x equals seven tangent, and I just I just switch the uh, the order, okay? It's the same thing. I just switch the order. Okay. Well, uh, I got I have x by itself, so that's that's good. I got x alone, so that's 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 really good. That's really good. Now I I take out my uh, trusty little phone, and I have my calculator. But I need um, the um, trigonometric functions, so I'm gonna put uh, seven times the tangent of twenty-seven and parentheses because there's a parentheses right there. And that is going to equal 3.57. So x is equal to 3.57. There it is. Okay. All right, everybody. Have a good night.